Manchester United have improved their bid to enter Milan for Andre Onana as he is the biggest priority for Manchester United this season. Onana also agreed personal terms with Manchester United. Let's jump into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and transfer news as we discuss about Onana. This is just coming now. This is just coming now. Fabrizio Romano just tweeted this. Manchester United have improved their bid for Andre Onana. He is now worth uh, 50 million euros, add-ons included, uh, around 45 million plus uh, five a million euros this is interesting this is very interesting i do think if we sign onana he's gonna help out uh the team tremendously i think he's gonna improve our team for sure he's definitely uh gonna improve our team uh the opening bid was worth around 40 million euros plus five millions and add-ons it was turned down by inter milan as they always uh wanted 60 million uh, and Manchester United remain in contact with Inter as uh, as they believe 55 million, uh, 55 million uh, euros could be the right number to close the deal. This is going to be interesting, guys. This is definitely going to be interesting. Talks continues, but personal terms have been agreed, so which is key. So Onana has decided to join Manchester United. He wants a new experience and he has worked with Eric Ten Hag before, so he wants to continue uh, working with Eric Ten Hag in the coming season. So I think this deal is going to be wrapped. I think this is a similar deal that we did with Mesa Mount. The opening bid got rejected, the second one got rejected, and finally we've decided uh, to agree. And I, I do believe that the gap between Manchester United and Inter Milan is just 5 to 10 million uh, euros. So I'm sure this is going to get resolved soon. But what do you guys think about David De Gea? Do you think he's better than David De Gea? Do you think the way we treated David De Gea is the right way? I don't think... Manchester United are doing the right thing with the way they treated David De Gea. I think David De Gea uh, deserves more respect in terms of how we handled him. I mean, he's just, he's out of contract. He's just sitting on the sideline now and just waiting to hear what's going to happen with his career. It's just incredible. We know uh, that Eric Ten Hag doesn't fancy David De Gea anymore because he wouldn't be chasing Onana if he actually believed in David De Gea. And David De, Gea's, uh, David De Gea's career is finished at Manchester United. That is that is for sure now. I, I don't think we can debate that. But there is a way to deal with this. You have to respect what David De Gea has done for Manchester United. And it's just a shame to see how we treated uh, David De Gea. Just incredible. Uh, on another news, guys, on another news that um, United, uh, the Donny van der Beek and Fred are in some sort of discussion that is going on. Uh, Donny van der Beek, of course, of course, worried about how he's going to fit into this team because Mesa Mount has joined Manchester United. So his, his game time is going to be limited for sure. His game time is going to be limited, so he's looking to see other options in terms of where he can go on loan or sign permanently. Uh, along with Fred as well, Fred is also, uh, as Fabrizio Romano mentioned, that Fred is also uh, taking a look at options. He's taking a look at options uh, and, and to see what's going to happen in his, in his spot. So he has attracted a lot of interest, and he could definitely leave uh, Manchester United, according to Fabrizio, uh, Fabrizio Romano. But yeah, people, let me know in the chat. What do you guys think about this Onana personal term agreed deal? Do you think he's better than David De Gea? Do let me know in the comment sections. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.